Hello, I'm James Harvey, the Professor of Music Theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. Now, we've talked in a few videos about some of the concepts behind figured bass, but we have yet to talk about figured bass symbols for seventh chords, so we're going to do that right now. I'm going to take a C major 7 chord in every inversion, and we're going to use it as our examples for our figured bass. So I need to write these on the staff in the appropriate positions. And then I have one more to go, like that. So those are all the possible inversions and uh, the root position as well of a C major 7 chord. So we have C major 7, and then we have the same thing here, major 7 over E, etc., over G, over B. So root position, 7th chord. All the intervals that are involved here, if we look up above the bass, we have a 3, we have a 5, and we have a 7, generic intervals. Just as we had with triads, we use abbreviations instead of all of the numbers because we'd be writing numbers all day. So the way that we abbreviate a root position seventh chord is simply by putting a seven there. So that seven is implying that it's a root position seventh chord because we take the five three out just like we did in a root position triad. Now the first inversion, if we look above the base, we have a three, we have a five, we have a six, all three of those in there. Now we abbreviate this as well by taking the 3 out and leaving the 6-5. So first inversion 7th chord has a base position symbol or figured base symbol of 6-5. So if you ever even hear me refer to a 6-5 chord, that means that it's a 7th chord in first inversion. And then the third, uh, sorry, excuse me, the third chord but the second inversion where the fifth is in the base, we have a 3, we have a 4 for the first time, and we have a 6. The 6 doesn't really tell us a lot. The 4 does. So we take the 6 out of there and we leave the 4, 3. And I'm going to bump that up just a little bit to make it a little cleaner. So the abbreviation or the abbreviated version of a second inversion 7th chord is 4, 3. And then the last one, the third inversion, which we don't have with triads, but we do have with 7th chords, is as shown here. We have a 2, we have a 4, and we also have a 6. 6 doesn't mean much because it's in most of the others, so what we do is we get rid of the 6 and we leave the 4-2. 4-2 is the figured base abbreviation for a 3rd inversion 7th chord. Those are all of our figured base symbols, by the way. Uh, so we've covered all three of the triad versions, root, posi root position and the two inversions, and then all of the 7th chords. In the next video, I'll show you a few ways that we can use these figured base symbols in tandem with Roman numerals and a nifty little mnemonic device and uh, helping to remember all of these, because it is a lot of numbers to remember. I have a little trick to help remember that. Thanks. <laughs>